morning friends welcome you all for one more research topic discussion here i am going to introduce you people for cylindrical dielectric resonator antenna that is called cdra excited with hem11 del mode using coaxial profile profeed and also i am demonstrating the same in hfss this discussion will help for the researchers who started their research in the field of dielectric resonator antenna so this is the appearance of our coaxial profed cylindrical dielectric resonator antenna and this is the prototype we implemented experimentally validated by measuring in a standard laboratory and myself is as you all know dr alap gajera department of electronics university of mysore the intention is to help the researchers some ideas so as we all know the dielectric resonator antenna looks like this there is a ground plane only the metal and it is the coaxial probe it is head head feed and this is the dielectric material which is having some suitable dielectric constant above 10 epsilon r is equal to more than 10 i have considered here 10 epsilon r and also height is 10 mm and radius is also 10 mm if you compare with the microstri patch antenna here there is a ground plane metal substrate and also patch with feed that is also metal but here you can find only the ground plane is the metal no any other metal at the top surface that's why it is somewhat good compared to this with all other characteristics like bandwidth gain and radiations directivity everything will it is good compared to this and we can use this dielectric resonator antenna wherever we are using our microstrip patch antenna effectively okay go for our topic as you know there are few, some modes in our microstrip patch antenna similarly the some modes we can easily excite in dielectric resonator if i use that as an antenna which are those modes the first one is te mode and its field portray similarly tm01 mode and it is looking like this see and hm11 mode and this is the mode which i am going to discuss how i can excite this and it lies for some particular applications similarly we have hm12 del mode hm21 del mode regarding the modes in dielectric resonator antenna you can refer this book that is by name luck and liang okay so all the details you can find it regarding this hm11 mode what we found it is a broadside radiating mode here you can see the field pattern how it is it will it will be broadside in nature it will be oscillating like this right broadside because we fed at the edges and perfectly we have excited this mode and there are two principal plane patterns no that is e plane and as well as h plane so here uh, e plane copole radiation is broad and also we have a good amount of gain and in h plane also copole is good cross pole also good okay this is the nature of hm11 del mode what we got in the simulation and you can find the isolated d area in its mode particularly uh, the resonant cylindrical cavity antenna and in this paper that is long in 1983 explained and from that paper some more idea about hm11 del mode so they have excited some theoretical assumption or theoretically they have predicted the first few modes in dra can be excited at these frequencies you can see just here hm11 mode as their explanation for isolated dra it is 6.33 but we tried to excite this mode by considering the coaxial probe it is fed at edges okay in this isolated means they don't have ground plane and all right like here we have considered and uh, we have excited this mode see the formula 
as per the formula we have used our epsilon r 10 and height is 10 and radius is 10 for that if I substitute in this formula I got at 3.966 gigahertz resonant frequency this is our configuration and this is our resonance just see we got at 3.99 with a good uh, resonance right 3.99 we got it okay this is the simulation work and finally we have implemented the prototype this is the uh, DRA and practically experimental results is validated with the simulation little bit there is a some deviation towards the higher side and these are all the radiations in E plane and H plane I think it's good you can find this details uh, in our paper Atropyl transaction and antennas and propagation in April 2015. Okay, let us uh, demonstrate the same in HFSS. Let us consider the ground plane. Ground plane. I am here. I am considering this ground plane with a, a radius of 30 mm and I have made one hole to place the coaxial probe. Its dimension is 2.5 mm. So above this, I'm going to place the DRA. DRA is of 10 mm radius, 10 mm height, and it has a mm, it has a cylindrical structure. And the substrate I have taken is epsilon R10. So this is the way I'm placing here. So then as usual I am placing all the other parts along with along with the radiation box. See? Okay. Clearly you can see the probe is spread at the edge and there is a ground plane the electric materials probe like this so structure is looking like this just to validate this I think everything is fine simulate uh, it's going on and it is simulated <coughs> I'm showing that our S1 one is good at 3.93 and the sun is almost minus 25 dB. So this is the S11 for this structure. Right. So go for the radiations. See, as we discussed, the red indicates E plane. And this color indicates H plane. We have a good amount of radiation gain that is uh, 5.87 xp is minus 20 it's good this is the way you can design and simulate cylindrical dielectric resonant antenna and that is excited with ha monon mode and even you can see the field pattern for field e field pattern i'll show you i'll just I'll avoid this radiation box. Okay. Just see how it is. So animate this. This is the radiation. Just I'll alert the probe. Open. See? This is the way how I'll make it somewhat fast. See? This is the way broadside radiation looks like this. This is the electric field pattern in the 
CDRA body, right? Thank you. I hope this discussion helps the research students who are the beginners in the field of dielectric regenerator antenna research. If you have any doubts, please send your comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you like this discussion, then share with your friends and you may get future notification if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.